Thank you to all the people here at AUB and elsewhere who have done so much in recent years to bring us here tonight to celebrate this pivotal moment. <clears throat> I add my voice to the previous speakers' appreciations for the generosity, hard work, leadership, and enterprise by so many people, so many individuals in Lebanon and around the world who have created and sustained the Isam Fadis Institute for Public Policy and International Affairs at AUB. Many individuals and institutions have joined forces to bring us together here tonight, and such cooperation can carry us forward to greater achievements. What we have accomplished to date has been thrilling and satisfying, but it is just the beginning. Our commitment to Isam Fadis, to AUB, to Lebanon and the Arab world, is ambitious, simple, and clear. We want the Isam Fadis Institute in the years ahead to join the ranks of the great global names Rockefeller, Thompson, Carnegie, Bertelsmann, Fulbright, MacArthur, Hewlett, Gates, and others of those statures. We want the Isam Fadis to join those ranks of institutions that link individual philanthropy with an institution's capacity to improve the well-being of all humankind through education, research, and outreach. We witness in action here the power of institutional patronage as practiced by the person and family of His Excellency Hassan Ferris. He took a risk a decade ago when he committed to funding the creation of this institute before it had any staff, strategy, or activities. Looking back, the critical lesson I draw is that he trusted AUB's leadership to translate into a functioning institute the original impetus for creating IFI. And that was and remains to harness knowledge for the sake of better public policy making and more stable and productive Arab states. Perhaps the most enduring legacy of Hassan Fadis' generosity in creating IFI will be his example of enlightened patronage patronage that builds or expands institutions that can improve the well-being of our societies across many sectors. So now every day, in everything we do, with hundreds of colleagues and dozens of other institutions here and all around the world, we seek answers to the challenge that Hassan Fadis and AUB placed before us. How can we use knowledge and research to promote better public policy all across the Arab world? and to promote more constructive relations among the Arabs and with the rest of the world. How can this great university's research capabilities help policymakers achieve the prosperity, stability, and sense of human dignity and decency that every Arab man, woman, and child deserves? My second point is about partnerships that generate results. Hassan Fadis initiated this process, but its translation into reality has reflected the will, wisdom, and energy of many people in and around AUB. Chairman Philip Khouri, President Peter Dorman, Provost Ahmed Dallal, and the Board of Trustees, including Trustee Michael Faris, have provided the indispensable top-level leadership and support that any ambitious project like this requires. The research and outreach we generate to impact on society is only possible because of the high-quality work of hundreds hundreds of AUB professors who are the bedrock of our foundation. This campus dynamic is the nucleus of a much wider web of hundreds of others and other individuals and institutions across Lebanon, the Middle East, and the world with whom we partner on research, lectures, workshops, conferences, and publications. We have benefited greatly from the support of a few donors also who have allowed us to expand rapidly from our core activities that are funded by the Ferris family and AUB itself. I would especially thank the Norwegian and Swiss foreign ministries, the Carnegie Corporation of New York, the Rockefeller Brothers Fund, Aramex Corporation, the Heinrich Boll Foundation, the Welfare Association, Bill and Sally Hambrick, the Nanim Mekdesi family, the Manduha Bobs Foundation, and many others. These and many other supporters are listed on a chart inside the building, and I hope you'll take a look at them when you go in. Our IFI staff, affiliated scholars and fellows, research assistants and interns who come from all over the world, manage research operations that attract collaborative partnerships with top institutions around the world, including Harvard and Princeton and Lund and Georgetown and the National University of Singapore and many others. 
The IFI staff are listed on our website, and they're identified here tonight with badges. If our, if our IUB professors are our foundation, the staff are our cement and steel that keep this structure growing. I would like to ask them all, the IFI staff, to please stand up so we can all acknowledge them collectively. If you run into any of these men and women on campus, or most often enjoying a cheese sage on Bliss Street, give them a hug for me. But not only for me, for yourselves as well. Because the consequences of the work they do, one day will slowly but steadily improve the quality of your life and also of the lives of millions of others across the Middle East and perhaps even further afield in the world. I want also to recall here the pioneering role of two men at AUB who started this off on the right foot. Former AUB President John Waterbury and former Pre Provost Peter Heath. Their initial consultations with the famous Fattis family a decade ago shaped the vision of this institute and defined this partnership that remains so firmly anchored in mutual trust. President Peter Dorman and Provost Ahmed Dallal then took the baton from these founders of IFI and have kept us moving forward and upward, providing guidance and support and confidence as we seek constantly to respond to new challenges across the Arab world. I particularly want to express a thanks to Provost Dallal as the administrative head of our institute for the extraordinary support and guidance of the We can address the challenges of our region and the world more efficiently now because of our move into this dramatic building that, that is our permanent home designed by Dame Zaha Hadid. It reflects architecturally what we seek to achieve programmatically. Innovation, utility, connectivity, inspired professionalism, harmony with nature, collaboration with conviviality, and above all, daring to be bold while standing on the shoulders of giants and pioneers who have built AUB since 1866. I hope the striking contours of our building from the outside would inspire you all to go inside the building and spend some time with us. You would quickly appreciate the energy and the synergies that our permanent home has sparked with it within IFI and AUB. Our building is appropriately bold because for 148 years AUB has introduced to Arab society bold new ways of working, ways that were innovative, even jarring and controversial in their days. These innovations were embraced and protected by Arab society and Lebanese society and very often emulated all across the region not because AUB's ways were so different or alien to the surrounding Arab environment, but because they were so near to it. AUB put into practice values and aspirations that have been deeply etched for years in the hearts and values of the people of this region, like opportunity, education, pluralism, creativity, and tolerance. Just as our new home redefines the boundaries of design in a legacy, a legacy campus, we also seek in our activities to expand the boundaries of how universities serve their wider societies. We do this in several ways, including our scholarly analysis of Arab public policy making, the role and impact of policy research institutions and think tanks all across the region, long-term research partnerships with leading institutions around the world, promoting serious multidisciplinary research within AUB and multi-country collaborations across this region, and launching an innovative MA program in both public policy and international affairs. We have very ambitious plans, partly because we enjoy unrivaled capabilities here at AUB and the confidence of the Fadis family, but we are ambitious mainly because the problems and challenges of the Arab world demand spirited and rigorous research and policy action to find appropriate solutions. As we seek to do this in the realms of public policy making and fostering constructive international relations, we are thrilled to undertake this task. Humbled by the opportunity to do this within AUB, working closely with the intellectual power of our faculty, stimulated by the newfound energy within our permanent home, and deeply grateful to the Fattis family 
and the hundreds of other partners and colleagues who share this journey with us. Thank you for joining with us this evening. We look forward to working closely with all of you in the years ahead to achieve one more milestone in the long history of AUB's and Lebanon's contributions to the well-being of all humankind. We also look forward to wel welcoming you inside our institute, either tonight if you'd like to come in and take a walk or whenever your schedules permit. Thank you again.